You're listening to the No Techers podcast. No Techers podcast. No Techers. What? Man said Bon Gerard. Is he <laughs> <laughs> The No Techers podcast. Come on, man. Let's get it, get it. Episode 18. Jeez. No Yo. Techers podcast. We out here. We got a special guest no, in the got, building. No, you got to say with more yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We got to let my plane. We got to let my plane. Nah, bro, you're playing with off, man. Listen, all right, let me put my mic down. Some, and some, what's it, Bruce Buffeting. Yo. We got a special guest in the building. In the building? Yup. Some say he's the Midlands Iniesta. Jeez. I I I agree. The The midfield maestro. Yeah, man. AKA, what else you got? I don't know why I set you off on this track. I don't know why I set you off on this track. What else you got? He's got the force field as well. Yeah, oh, he's got the force field. We're going to get into that later. (laughs) (laughs) We got Remain Sawyers in the building. Yup, yup. That would have been a good time for a sound effect. I know. I will. I'll add it in. (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) (laughs) How you doing, bro? I'm good, man. I'm good. Yeah? Feeling energized. You ready for this? Yeah. We won't yeah, get too, yeah, yeah. won't get too controversial. <laughs> <laughs> a court's might. You got a man seat up on today, or what? I, you know what I was gonna, I, I was gonna, yeah, but I, was, I, I thought I was like, like, that, that flipping the soya stuff on. <laughs> <laughs> like, he didn't give me one, for I'm still waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> man, first, man give, first. Give me one in the Warsaw joint. <laughs> um, cool. How's everyone doing? We're good. Yeah, man, we're good. Good we're week good. of football. Very. Um, I didn't check the Champions League scores today, so please don't <laughs> tell me. Um, cool. Let's do a quick run through of. Well, actually, before we do that, let's go. Let's let's introduce the folk. They should know. I hope so. If you watch this show, you know who Main is. Um, West Brom, Albion started. Let's talk us through that journey. Oh, long time. Kings down coats. Cheese. Yeah, young boy, seven. Played a game against them. And as a striker, hey there. As a striker, you know. Yeah. So long, long time. Was, 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 it, was back then, was it just route one? You know what? He's one man up front. Quick, <laughs> you ain't got a pace. <laughs> it did back then. <laughs> back then, back then yeah. Head down. Run, run, run. Yeah. Play the game against them. Signed for them at seven till 21. Mm. Warsaw, Brentford, now back. Yeah. What, um, what was said to you when, when they let you go? Um you're in the Premier League, Steve Clark of twenty one and below you don't have to register. And I was coming to twenty two, so I'd have to get registered. There's twenty five players in the first team that they believe are better than me. Um so instead of me sitting there playing reserves and going to get loans again, just go and get yourself prove us wrong is the statement what it was made. Mm. What year was this? This was uh eight years ago. So yeah, two two thousand twelve. Cause I remember, yeah, I, I was gassed, yeah. Cause I remember I got FIFA 2010 in it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, went straight to Albion. Yeah, see, made it on there with the with the blue prints. I was like, yeah, man, it's my G. <laughs> yeah, oh man. man! So from there, you went to Warsaw, Warsaw yeah. where you kind of made a name for yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, massively, the leagues. massively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember playing you in preseason for Torquay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't I nice. Remember. Yeah, I was, I was I injured remember. for that game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were injured. <laughs> you knew what was coming, didn't it? <laughs> How do you want that force field? <laughs> um, I remember we we was in Miami at that know. time. Yes, that's a, that's yeah, another story. Yeah, yeah. For oh, that's another episode. That's another story. 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 Um. And me and you spoke about life in general, like a catch up because I ain't seen you for time because I was living in America at the time. Yeah. And I remember you was talking about like in the next couple of years you want to be playing championship, um, if not prem. Yeah. And then here we are. So I'm Jeez. just like, yo, yeah, it's glad to see man actually doing the things that they set out to do and putting their head down and grafting. Because um, he was actually grafting in the championship. And I know that's like, I don't know the extent how hard the league is, but I hear things that it's one of the toughest leagues to get but out the of thing it. is this guy just made it look easy yeah he was in what, that, team, that, of the, that team, was of the, team of the season yeah P, how many, how many PFA team the years now <laughs> <laughs> two or three two two yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Two. More to one, go one in each league I say yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, say no more say no more so, last question what advice would you give to any young player watching this who's been 
in that rejected position now, like they're seeing you reestablish yourself? Like, what is it that what what does it take? Sink or swim mentality. Like when I was first let go, I went to Warsaw. It was a case of like it's either I'm a League One player for my life or I can try and get higher kind mm. of thing. And people like we've had this conversation before. It's people around me that are like Mainly you better than that. Mm. Like, the different team remains better than that, and mainly you better than that. People that call me mainly, it's personal. Yeah, like okay. any coach can say, "Oh, remains a good player," or "remains this." But when you hear mainly, it's, it's, it's fixed up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. More of the mainies that would push me, make me say, like they would say things like, "You're on loan from the championship." That's the first step. There's no point in me saying it. Also, oh, I'm gonna play in the Premier League. Yeah, it's a long term vision, but short term, the next step. Championship. Yeah. yeah. And it's a case of just having that mentality to say, yeah, I'm better than this league, but it's all words until you actually show it. Facts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Facts. Respect Go that. and show it. Either you sink or you swim. Yeah. I remember as well, you had a few low moves that you weren't really playing too much and you weren't really going how you ex- expected yeah, yeah, yeah. So how did you find the difference from not really being a main player to then forcing your way into the Warsaw team and making sure everything runs through you? Yeah, I think... Growing up in an academy environment, you get that cotton wool wrap yeah, around you. Yeah, mm. I was number 10. I was a silky player. I was nice. Good luxury player. Luxury luxury luxury. player. <laughs> almost the boys are carrying me almost yeah. without the ball, with the ball. They're expecting me to do things. Mm. When there's livelihoods on it in League 1 and League 2, ain't yeah, nobody yeah. carrying me. I, mean, <laughs> I can't play with my squad. I'm getting dragged. Like if, if, if something's not going well, I'm getting dragged. I remember at Shrewsbury, I started first game ever in League football. Half time came off. Mm. I was like, wow. But I didn't understand it and process it. Now, looking back, I understand it. I just wasn't working hard enough. Mm. Um, but it's between loans and first team football, it's when you go on loan, you always know I'm going to go back to West Brom. Mm. I've got my. Got that safety. That safety. Mm. Yeah, I've got coaches at West Brom phoning me saying, oh, that game was okay. It's always a bias opinion. Oh, so and so didn't give it you enough. Or so it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. you're on loan, it's just like. <laughs> It's almost gonna be. It's gonna be okay, regardless. I could have a man that would make it seem like it's, it's okay. all right. Just yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because their perception of it is they have to develop, remain. Mm. Whereas the League One and League Two, they're trying league, to win. They're trying to win games. Mm. Mm. So then, when you switch to full time in the building, you're not. I was young at 21, but at the same time, it was early in my career where I had to make a name or. I would actually be League One, League Two player. Mm. So it's a case where there's older people in dressing room that at the opposite end where it could be their last contract where they're getting half decent money. Mm. They've got mortgages, they've got kids, they've got other bills yeah. to pay. Yeah, so yeah, they, yeah. They try and motivate you, but in a different way. They won't openly say that, like, oh, my kids are on the line. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know, like, you know, man, yeah, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. You can now you've grown up and you realise as well, there's like, I'd sit around at the training ground at 21 playing pool or on a laptop or anything. Mm. Everyone 30 plus is out the door. Now I'm out the door. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm sitting around doing extra shooting and stuff like that because yeah. personal life is just as important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But growing up and stuff, you don't really realize that, understand it until you, until you get so older. You get them responsibilities. And then that's the, probably the biggest difference is like it's just a biased opinion when you're on loan. It's always going to be okay regardless. Yeah. But sink or swim if you're not. But if you're not, sink or swim, isn't it? You get one year deals, maybe two year deals in that league max. Mm. So wow, yeah. realistically, you got six months. If I don't do it from the start of the year to January, I'll either be replaced in January or they've made a decision. Come the end of that season, we're not giving him a new deal. Yeah, yeah. But you're still playing and playing and playing, thinking it's all, all mm. okay. Then end of the season, there's three hundred free agents, and you're like, oh, mm. what am I going to do? Because yeah. there's another remain or so and so there yeah, in my yeah. position. Yeah. Um. Talk us through like the difference now that you're in the prem. Um, I'd say it's the best league in the world. Yeah. I hope everyone <laughs> in this room agrees. Um, talk us through like the le- the step up from championship to prem. There's no off days. Yeah, everyone's a good player. Like everybody. Yeah. Everyone. Every, no, no, seriously, everybody's a good player because <laughs> I'm just asking that. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Kids like not that James, yeah, <laughs> not that James. <laughs> He's just <laughs> rapid. The difference, the difference for me is the consistency. Yeah, from the champion, not championship, from the Premier League to League Two. If I, if you pick, you could name players you've played with in League Two that if you told them standing and hit a die, they're gonna hit mm. it. But 
say Kevin De Bruyne is gonna do it fifteen out of fifteen, mm. whereas he might do it five out of fifteen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can he do it with eighty thousand United fans? Mm. Do you know what I mean? So with the, yeah, the pressure is different. That you do everything yeah. different, but mentally the consistency in the Premier League. That's why I say everybody's good. Ability wise, it wavers. There's probably people in Championship that have better ability in the Premier League, yeah. but mentally. Premier League, they're all like proper men. Yeah, yeah. Like you can't really ruin them. Mm. Well, this season's a bit of a different one because there's no fans. So, how, how are you finding that? Isn't it all like training games? <laughs> uh, yeah, it works for some people. Like you would have experienced, and sure, you would have heard of the, the whole training players. Yeah, yeah. I was going to touch on yeah, that. Yeah. Mm. So, there's some people that will em- embrace the fact that there's no fans, and you'll see the training players come to light. But then there's no momentum change. Mm. So if we're in a game and there's a stalemate and your crowd roars a bit more for the home team, mm-hmm. it naturally boosts them a little and brings the opposition mm. down. Or vice versa. Some yeah. like a Burnley would get rallied up yeah. if their away fans are roaring. Mm. They'll like get pumped, Sheffield United get pumped up by it. So I think that's the difference where the crowd can't mentally affect you it, whether it's good or bad. And that's where the mentally strong consistently show. Because yeah. like some the top top players in the world, whether it's training games, their kids or their nephews or nieces, they just want to win and they're gonna do it at mm. the best of their ability. And I think that shows more of players when it comes to no crowds. Yeah, I could imagine. I could imagine. All right, cool. Let's go through the results from the past week. Um, I think the early game was a Friday. Was it? Yeah, there was a game on Friday. Um. I, think, I don't think it was anybody important. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about uh, we start with the, with yeah, the important so, one? Oh, well, the, let's, let's fly the, through the, it. The, the, the 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 big one that everyone wants to talk about. We normally skip it, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's fly through it. As soon as you said the results, I saw, I saw a little smudge come out of nowhere. Led forward into the mic. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's talk about it. Let's talk. So, talk us through it. Let's go. The Friday kickoff. Palace at home to Newcastle. Newcastle Next one, we one. don't care about that. We don't care about Two. that. We don't yeah. care about that. D- the West, West Brom won. won. Yeah. <laughs> West Brom won on the Saturday. Yeah. Well done against Sheffield United. Great shin. I mean, side foot. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously that that game was like momentum built. I, I assume it's a big step now going forward for this, yeah. for the season. Would you say it was more of, of a relief than? actual enjoyment because I remember you saying before about when you got promoted it was more a relief yeah, rather yeah. than a celebration was this kind of the same kind of feeling ah. this, one, this one was a celebration, celebration, celebration. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with the promotion it's like we worked so hard for so long and we made the last nine games as hard as we possibly have could mm, yeah, yeah. so it was like ugh, finally it's over there's yeah. no let's see how we do in this the next day or the next day or the next day it was just over whereas with this our performances haven't necessarily warranted the results we've been getting mm. the only thing is we haven't maybe played well enough for 90 minutes yeah yeah that's yeah that's where I go to the mentality again Tottenham we played well last minute Chelsea did. do you get what I mean Chelsea mm. freely looked great first start but these are big players that mentally like no disrespect to the championship but if you freely look in a championship game there's hardly ever a team that's going to come yeah. back and mm. do you think that was kind of the reason because he was almost like you was freeing a lot but you almost got comfortable and just took your foot off the gas a little bit I didn't think we took our foot off the gas maybe we dropped into more of a let's protect this lead rather than stay Go where we're first. at yeah mm-hmm. foot on the neck not necessarily going for the fourth but just keep us uh, like your foot on their throat you don't have to stamp down but just don't let go mm-hmm. and I think we may be eased off a little bit and they're top players they and they're the going to come and allow them in the game and they're going to grow in confidence mm-hmm. and they're going to grow in belief and then their their passes that weren't happening in the first half might happen in second and vice versa the other way around for mm-hmm. us and then concede one and it's like oh mm-hmm. concede two and it's like whoa <laughs> as, as we're going to back they're coming at us yeah. so it's one of those things where right. their momentum swinging in the same like that's a game where you'd probably need the crowd if we're 3-0 at home yeah, yeah. the crowd's rocking like it yeah. takes it out yeah. of Chelsea even more because they're a so called big European club that's losing to West Brom yeah so they're, so. they're the kind of things where momentum would have helped us yeah yeah in yeah in that case okay cool um, who have you got next Crystal Palace 
Ooh, yeah. tough game. At home? Very, yeah, yeah, at home. I think it's a not no league, no game in the league is easy. But yeah. There's some that like, there's some you'd want to pick. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Win. You pick your battle. Yeah. Pick Liverpool and nah, you want to play Fulham in it. You don't want to play Fulham in it. Some games you want to pick after. Certain yeah, yeah, games yeah. And stuff so a bit more. Out of the is it ten games you played now? Yeah. Out of the ten games, which which team has impressed you the most? It's a difficult one because I sat on the bench for ninety minutes against Tottenham. And I was watching almost like a fan on a Harry Kane. Mm. Like I, I link him with goals like most people. Yeah, but yeah. His overall play. Yeah. yeah, he's took it to a new level. He could be year. a top centre mm. midfielder. Like I yeah. Think, See I when I said play, when I, you know, I said play him in the <laughs> ten, fam. Yeah. Man looked at me like I was delusional. He could be a top <laughs> centre. So, someone said Zidane. Whoa. <laughs> Someone says you're done. Slow down with that one. Someone says you're done. Great. I'm big, I'm big, I'm big, big Sky Sports. Zidane's too far. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to go far. I'm blessed to go. So, are, are, we talk, are we talking like Rooney? Again, too far. Like, <laughs> I like that. You, you, you're talking <laughs> players that like mean something to yeah, you. Yeah, so yeah, it's different. Yeah, Other yeah. people might think that, but you can't. Not many players that have played in the Premier League can talk to Rooney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, Facts. Not many people that have played the game football but can you, talk to Zidane. But yeah. well, you say that, but when we do the all time 11s, not a lot of people put Rooney in, you know? Like, hard. Like, I think there's been one oh, person. We'll wait and see yeah. what he's yeah. 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 saying. Yeah. I'm just letting him know that. Yeah. Yeah. Man, trying to sway his mind in there. Because he wasn't in mind. There's been reasons why he wasn't in mind. He was on the bench on last day. I can see why, but I just feel like, in terms of complete footballers, there's not many that are more than Rooney. Yeah, yeah. Like, but yeah, Harry Kane, Tottenham was very. So impressive. would you say Harry Kane's the best player you've played against? We Fabregas. didn't play. Hmm? Fabregas. Yeah. Fabregas, Fab- Fabregas is he like what they say about snooker players in five? Yeah. Is like I think it's ten fifty. Yeah, I, f- I think I need to, we need to break down the force field for like, this one. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, but like, yeah, can, you explain, can you explain this force field thing? Yeah, because yeah, um, yeah. basically, I I told him the story of. Um, David Silva when we played against him um, in the FA Cup yeah, and he come on for the last 15 minutes and no one could touch him yeah, Fabregas, and yeah. I said he's basically got force field around him mm. what's what's the force field? Right. and I told him you've got the same force field <laughs> not the same <laughs> yeah I know my force field is not going to be gassed up it's, too it's much it don't yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. extend that far <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah I understand Fabregas just <laughs> man can't find my it's, 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 it's mad it's mad like some of the things I remember there's one pattern I played this one we played Warsaw, Warsaw Brentford FA Cup and I think it's Alonso playing left back he's clipped the ball into the middle of the pitch so say I'm facing here but he's clipped it from there and Williams on that touch line and when you're closing players down, some you almost try and do their thing and you think, oh, he hasn't seen so-and-so, yeah. we don't know I'm coming. So speeding up on him, and the ball's a bad ball, so it's like up here somewhere. And like from first time, right foot, like on the money to William. <laughs> but he broke a line with the pass. So if I'm the left back, he's broke a line from there. And he's just like, on the pitch, You because I don't play the quickest, mm. I can actually analyse a lot. I was just like, wow. <laughs> and I just for the rest of the game I didn't even attempt to close it down that pace like it was just, it just I'd yeah. do it because I need to go in emotion and stuff but like their levels to when you say force field you can't get near them because they know when to play one touch two touch mm-hmm. three touch mm-hmm. bring you in and suck you out where it's to bring to play one two round like their decision making is just like 10-10 yeah mm. that's mad 10-10 and wait you just it's it's almost impossible to like. He only loses the ball if he wants to. I generally feel like, mm. like, <laughs> like if he's not gonna he's, want to lose the he, ball. He's, he's, he's still on smoke. Ball, like, if, he, if he's just being lazy, if he's just being lazy, mm. we don't want. Like if he was on it, everything. And he's he's done everything. Champions League, Premier League, World Cups, everything. So he's done mm. everything. But if he generally wanted to not ever lose the ball, and he was fully focused, like there was no sleeping pattern problem. Mm. He ate right before every game. I yeah. generally feel they'd have a hundred percent pass completion every game. That's <laughs> mad. Mm. There's levels. Yeah, yeah. There, there is there, levels. Hundred yeah. percent. <laughs> have you played so, against David Silver? Nah, I wouldn't even want it. <laughs> <laughs> like when people always special. say to you, like, "Oh, who do you look, like in cup runs and stuff? Mm. Who do you look forward to playing?" 
I've never understood the man cities of the world. Mm. Like, why you turn around and say, yeah, man city. Mm. Like, I want it would be a good experience in like well, for in some cult, people. You want to go to the next round and the next round. Mm. I'll play Man City in the semis. Yeah, but semis you're, you're, you're at a Premiership club now, no, so no, no, you've do you got. I'm talking Warsaw days. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't. Nah, so I wouldn't ever want to draw Chelsea. I'd want to get a bit further in the cup and then do it. Yeah, but I how far is that far though? Semis. Because so once you, cause you, once you get to the third it. round, that's that's a big yeah, thing for a League One and Two club. Yeah, I'll take Premier League. But I don't want to take the top end. Like I said, there's, there's good players. You want to take the beat If you draw Fulham, it's still, it's, it's still... Fulham in the Premier League, they're still going to show you levels. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. In the Premier so League. why would you rather so you get slapped by Fulham than at Man City? But, but you have a chance, you're, isn't it? You'll still believe that you're going to beat Fulham. It sounds silly, but you'll believe yeah, it. Yeah, it's like... It's like, like, it's like but, Chelsea, no, no, but the same thing, because when we had... Because we was at Nuts, I was League One then. We had Man City. I still thought we was going to win. We was I mean, one of the You were probably like, 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 the thing is, we should have actually won. It's like this huge you have a fight. If they didn't bring that Danny Silver, if they didn't bring that Danny Silver, we win. Not the one that can knock me out. All right. No, but listen, we was one nil up to the 80th minute. Danny Silver come on at 75 minutes. No what happened? They equalised it five minutes later when he come on. But this is what I'm saying. But this is what I'm saying. But that was our thing, though, because we knew they was going to play. A week and two. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're thinking we're at home. We've mm. got a chance. Get an early goal from a set piece. <laughs> but that <laughs> yeah, you got a chance. Yeah, you had it all planned out. Yeah, analyzed yeah, it in the yeah, you, 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 You've got a chance. But we'll play for corners. But yeah. what are we play? Is this a different ball game? The, ch- the chances are slimmer. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I'd I just pro- I'd prefer to try and beat a Fulham. You said just keep Not it real. Yeah. Then it, but that's then the thing. We, already, we we had Sunderland the round before that, and we beat them. At so there. you had the one. Or, yeah, so that game, so I think that was the third round we had Sunderland. Yeah. Mm. Beat them two 0 at Stadium of Light. Henderson and them man. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. my try leave man the best. 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 <laughs> and then see you later. Yeah, this is oh. funny, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Run through the rest of the Saturday results. Uh, Brighton at home to Liverpool. Oh, controversial game. Very controversial game. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's, that, what's the shaking head for? <laughs> what's your thoughts on VAR, Badgy? <laughs> let me, let me, think, let me nah, think about this one. Let me nah, see how we're on, Honestly, honestly, I think what they got wrong with it is it's still. Somebody's a human error. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Human, mm-hmm. error. human mm-hmm. error, yeah. So whether they had VAR or not, it's still the human's decision. Yeah. yeah. And I think people can accept human making mistakes. Yeah, so yeah. If yeah. I'm as a ref get an offside <laughs> wrong or a penalty wrong, you can accept that. You'll be mad at that moment, but eventually you'll go over it. Yeah. You can't make VAR such a big thing and still get it wrong. Get it wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what they're doing more so now is Changing the rules of football right. to, to suit, suit VAR. Right, yeah. right, 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 VAR right. was meant to support the rules, rules of football. Yeah, yeah. And that's the that's the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if it was in like goal line technology, nobody moans about it because it, it, it came it's in consistent and it helps. And it does yeah, 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 yeah. It's not very careful. Football in a positive way. <laughs> yeah. Football's like, it's not like the balls change <laughs> or players are scoring less yeah. goals or anything. It helped the. What goals. do you make of this handball rule? I don't. Do you understand <laughs> it? Just don't. Just put your hand behind your back in it. I. I can't honestly say I do understand it totally. Mm. I just know there's the sleeve cut off. So anything above the sleeve, it's not deemed handball. But I've seen, we've seen decisions. For me personally, if I'm a Mourinho-esque manager, my sleeves are going to come longer. (laughs) Not necessarily so it's obvious, but they're going to be like a little longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little G unit If you make them the grey area, which like Mm. to say it's a sleeve, they don't say the sleeve has to be like, if there's a rule to say, okay, it's got to hit the sleeve, but everyone's sleeves this inch is long, Mm -hmm. then it covers all bases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can adapt and like, there's loopholes and everything can allow that to come into football. But that's a good point you made. It's like, VAR is the rules are being changed to support changed VAR. To support yeah, and no, I didn't even to see it but like that. That's to be fair. only because the the footballing, should we say, bodies need to. If I'm if I'm top of the chart and I'm expressing, I'm saying I'm bringing in VAR. I have to make it work. Yeah. That's why we have to adapt to VAR rather than VAR. VAR adapt to, to yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Good I point. think it's a case where like <clears throat> until they get it right, which it's gonna be hard. Mm. No one's gonna be satisfied. Like you hear people say, take VAR away. But the minute you take VAR away and something happens that VAR would have cleared up, yeah. you say, oh, 
why Where's, is it? Yeah. But it, yeah, just yeah, the yeah. fact that they've changed it in the beginning yeah. is the reason why they've allowed all this controversy mm. and stuff. But Do you feel like since VAR's come in, there's been like handballs everywhere, fouls easy, everywhere, yeah, pens yeah, everywhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's easy to point a yeah. finger at something now. Before you could say, oh, Graham Pohl got it wrong or... Mm. Um, Uriah Rennie got it wrong or mm. whoever <laughs> got it wrong Shout but Uriah now Rennie. you can say like <laughs> VAR got it wrong it's the whole of the footballing bodies yeah, 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 yeah. but yeah. it's not even them that are actually taking the brunt of it because it's still refs getting the battering mm. if a ref gets the decision wrong you don't turn around and say oh VAR you'll say why did the ref change the decision why did the mm. ref go over to the monitor why did mm. but yeah. realistically it's not the ref it's whoever's in the speaker I think the the next step would be I've seen Australian I think it is rules when it they have the um, the, the mic, mic the mic top yeah yeah at least then you can it wouldn't satisfy fans or players but you hear some sort of an explanation yeah yeah explanation and you can say mm, yeah maybe maybe not you can yeah, see yeah, his direction yeah, yeah. now it's like a man behind the green screen yeah, and you don't yeah. see. Like, literally <laughs> you don't know what one <laughs> um so you saying was that a pen us yeah are we saying no, it's a pen did, did by the well letter, do the right thing? By the letter of the law, it is a pen. Because <laughs> no, I mean. no, no, but the thing, if Welbeck went down straight away, mm. no one would be arguing. The fact that he kicked him, he stood up and was like... Oh, also, okay. if, you in, yeah, if, you want, if you watch the... If you watch... 100% <laughs> Stone Wars. see yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if, if you watch it in full motion... That's that's another thing. I think you they shouldn't be allowed to slow it down. Slow it down. I where think it's you like have to watch it. Yeah, but they, if real, they, but if they don't base. slow it down, they won't be able to see the detail. Well, of, if you okay. can't see the detail, then you, you can't. Yeah, but that's like, that's the whole point, though. Is I, no, I think slow it down makes it look worse than it actually is. But then it, it's what happened. If Just you can't slow see it in normal time, time, you shouldn't be able to make a decision on yeah, it. Yeah, any any slowing down for me is going to encourage a turnover. Right. Because it it looked it made him look like he was out of control. You see it in a different a different way and a different light, but it's. I don't know, man. I don't really. Know. If I speak, I'll be in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, yeah, if, if I speak, speak. Yeah. Let, let, let's move on then. Let's move on. Um, Man City at home to Burnley, five nil. You say, Maris, listen, Mendy, Maris listen, listen to the episode Mendy last Mendy week and, and said, and "How Mendy dare fam. you compare me to Zayich?" And Mendy, <laughs> and Mendy, fam. Well, and him too. Yeah, yeah. Cause he's him. Called, you didn't sure. like his. You didn't like us calling him vibes, man. Ogbits and shorts. Um, is that well? I mean, it's Man City, isn't it? Yeah, but it's on also, their day, it's also Burnley. Burnley. It's, but they're always one of them teams that, when they turn up, yeah, someone's getting battered. Yeah, yeah. So but again, it's all of like four years now. I've seen like the last four episodes have mm. played each other. It's been five nil. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. So. so it's becoming. So they almost expect it's around. Around. It's going around. But that's, but no, but that's no, but that's <laughs> where the mentality well. comes in. They've lost every single year by that scoreline. They're thinking. Mm. Oh, I don't yeah. Has he always played four four two as well? In that picture, I don't think he's ever not played four four. I was about to say, if you talk about Sean Dash, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if you're getting back to four nil, that's his go-to <laughs> formation. Think, that's his backup think, formation. Yo, that's let his me, plan let me, let me change, fam. <laughs> a little bit five five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, quick question: How can you change that you don't know, fam? Did <laughs> <laughs> you actually try that? Yeah, so, yeah. What against Leicester? It, well, he played five and five, five. five. If you have seen the way they set up, they had a back four and then like Bobby Reed as a wing back. And then Omesa just had five in front that was just like one was pressing, one was in, but it, it worked because mm, they were trying to break and they had quick plays. Mm. They won that game, didn't they? Yeah. 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 Fair enough. Yeah. Boy. Um, Riyad Mahrez hat trick. First ha- is it his first, his first hat trick? For, 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 for City, yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe so. Um, is that a sign where, because we, last week we talked about him not really securing the right wing at City? No, he was. Have Man City ruined. Maris. Yeah, well, that, that was like, that was a shout to <laughs> ruin. I don't, I don't think it secures it because you'd rather him be consistent over a period of games rather than just yeah. have one Mazza and score hat trick and then next week he goes back to can't beat the. Do you think it helped that fact that Sterling didn't play? No, why, why, why would it? He plays because on the other side. That's what I mean. But because well, Ferran much. Torres would play on the right, wouldn't he? But you're telling me you'd have. Uh, Torres not, not, not me <laughs> I'm just asking me. Isn't it? But I don't think It should affect him Whether or not Sterling I'm just plays. saying Because cause obviously Torres is like a new sign And they don't really know What you're going to get from him mm. Maybe the more I think Tried and tested Give him the ball We know what he can do mm. But if you've got Sterling On the other side You know what he can do as well So you yeah, like, yeah. Give him the ball It's just hard to secure A position that's it. Yeah mm. And that, that was the other point Is like, like Mahrez is common positions that Aren't like Sterling if he's fit he's playing yeah the Bruyne. Bruyne if he's fit he's playing mm. like Silva when he was there if he's fit Laporte probably now but 
I think they're right wing. They've got Silva, they've got Torres, they've got Foden that can play there. Hey, Bernardo well. doesn't even get a game these days, fam. Well. He's playing centre, bro. I don't understand. I thought he was. I thought he was wavy. I don't understand. How I he thought he turned the corner last season. Who's that? Bernardo Silva. Bernardo. He, do, he doesn't even see pitch, bro. <laughs> last season he was. Yeah, but it don't yeah, yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. You don't see the he pitch, was bro. Special. He yeah. Top, top, but you're talking about. Everyone's a nine and a half out of ten. <laughs> and that, that, I, and that, that was the other discussion I was having with Mahrez one in another group was Mahrez was the man at Leicester. Leicester. Mm. He's come to a team where everyone's mm. torn up. Yeah, that, yeah, that was yeah. my point. So I don't even think Mahrez is he's not underperformed. Mm. It's just the levels <laughs> are high. For him to get the same respect he did at Leicester, he would have to score hat trick every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd at have to Leicester, smoke. He's no disrespect to anyone that was there, but he's competing against all right ends and drink waters and even mm. a Kante or Vardy. So mm. their their stars are obvious. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Whereas he's got to be a star at City, you're gonna have to outperform Sterling and Kevin. That's being the best player. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's hard to be the best player in the league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's hard for him to be talked about after every game. Mm. I mean, because I think like because you got. The ones that you said, like De Bruyne and Sterling, they're the the main core players. Yeah, and then the everyone crop, else is just the rotation. Yeah. So we're still in that rotation bracket. Yeah. So until he comes out of that, to get you know, FIFA to when the... you pick rotational player when you yeah, sign yeah. the contract. <laughs> I, bet they, I bet they didn't tell him that when he was signing his contract. Though. <laughs> Probably money's nice though, isn't it? That's what I'm saying. He, he didn't uh, ask that. He's fine. He's fine. He didn't ask that question. <laughs> Yo, okay, say no more. Um, all right, moving on. Everton at home to Leeds. Um, Leeds came through with the one goal. Yeah. Uh, right. Rafinha, I didn't see the goal, but I heard it was. It was alright. Yeah, it was a good goal. goal. It talked it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, according to the Premier League, what do you Calvert Lewin got man of the match. Leeds? Obviously, he played against them last season as well. Championship, they'd win it every year if they if they kept that group and that mm. philosophy <laughs> of play, just because it's so. So different, mm. yeah. Like there's teams that I remember playing Cardiff before they play man for man, but they're playing man for man with good players on the ball, with players that don't get tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, think they're like one of the top three pressing a, teams yeah. in the league. I'd say as good as a top, surely. Yeah. I don't think there's no team because they sometimes press with like eight and leave their two in the keeper. Mm. Like not many teams, you still press from a structure. Like maybe yeah. the right back goes and the other stays. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're literally just like, let's go get after the ball. Mm. We lose its reaction. They're all they're mm, on you like mm. a rash. The only spin off that is if you've got a team where they wouldn't necessarily do it they've done it against Liverpool early on in the season but I feel like the reason why they lost that game in the end is because Liverpool have got that quality and that, yeah. that calmness that composure. where say, yeah. say if you play against a team of Thiago's against them he's going to expose you because yeah. he's going to be calm they're going to be playing round the so called press he's going to be able to play that Fabregas gonna, pass do you get what I mean he's going <laughs> to play passes that people aren't seeing yeah. and stuff like that yeah. but if you play against most teams you'll be able to get after them right and it's just a case of do they get the rubber the green one hits the post like mm. Bamford hits the post quite often or the crossbar or a good mm. save and what game did he score that hat trick was against Villa I thought it would have been like a battle of the nines like a Calvert-Lewin versus Bamford and it just wasn't and so I got let down a bit yeah the game was actually quite boring mm. like I was just like Bamford's not that special <laughs> nah but he's like obviously they're both well Bamford recently got England shouts in it and this is something. This is not that special. You know, when Pierce is not having it, he's just like, not, no matter how many times you say it, he's not, not having it. He's a good player. He's <laughs> he's I was saying, no, he's got a sick goal. Pierce was like, yeah, the finish was good. The finish is like defining it. Obviously, you've played with Ali as well, Ali Watkins. So For me, Ali Watkins is a better striker than Bamford. For me, also. Okay, that's all I need to know. Okay. Like, I, when when I heard the, the WC here, Bamford, England, X fans there, especially with Oli playing so well for Villa and scoring, like, mm. I'm not, maybe it is premature because it's his first 10 games in the Premier League and mm. stuff mm. like that, but I think if he continues to go the way that he's going, he'll get that shot in. Nah, he's cold, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's cold. Because but what, who does he start over? Nah, starting is different. Yeah, yeah okay. The squad and starting is different. Like there's Harry Kane's and there's Rashford's yeah. in the world. I, 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 I get what I get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you said but Harry Kane could play centre mid, so it's all right. Man. Nah, you, you, don't, back you don't take him. away <laughs> the world class. That hey, you've bear, got. how many assists? Seven assists, is it? But nine. I mean, like, nine Oli, assists. The most impressive thing about Oli is 
he can be playing very, very good and not score. Mm-hmm. And not many See, people. This can, is what people not don't many understand. People can do that. Mm. Like, if no disrespect to Vardy, but if Vardy doesn't score, you question. Yeah, he'll stretch a line and stuff like that. But then other people have. But Oli could make. He'll make his left winger better. He'll make his right winger yeah, yeah, better. Yeah. He said, like he does all the ugly things as well as having quality. Mm. Like he's got genuine quality. Yeah. Technically, he's strong. Like he wants to work. Mm. He's got a good mentality. So it's a case of like with confidence of playing the league more, his reputation building. I think he'll get that shout soon. I hope so. Yeah, it, it'll be so. well deserved. Does he go Euros? Would you take him? I, too early, I had too early to say. The other day, who who would I start for my Euros team for England? And it's just up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we we you, had that conversation. Yeah, we did. Too fair. Whether you play a five or a three, if you want to put it as a five or a three or a four, or mm. like it's just that mm. I think England have got a dilemma. Like too much TV options. Sport, would would like you class it as a golden golden generation? No, no, not in terms of the the level. Because mm. I, don't, I don't think that, like, we talk, when we talk Skulls and Gerard Lampard, mm. England had, like, three of the top ten, maybe. They don't realise how good the they world. had it. Yeah, like, yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? Then yeah. you had a Beckham. Mm. Then you had, like, yeah, even going up front, you have, like, over the years, the Owens, the Shearers, the Coles, the Wrights. Like, Ian Wright and Cole didn't play that many games, and they're mm. top, top strikers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, it doesn't add up. <laughs> but, like, now nice. they've got they're maybe a, a top-end bracket and a huge middle bracket mm. whereas before it was like top players and then the ones after it weren't mm. as top top yeah yeah whereas mm-hmm. now I think yeah, when people talk about <coughs> world class England players you talk Harry Kane maybe a Rashford Sterling Sterling's like you can say Trent can get in that like mm. but even that you see people would say oh well he can't defend and he's <laughs> what, what, what's your thoughts on Grealish not world class but if is a top I think he's the top tier of the Premier League bracket yeah should he be a starter for England without a shadow of a doubt but again that's but then where do you play him there that's my my opinion because I like that kind of player yeah Mm -hmm. like some people will say Declan Rice oh my god (laughs) has to play no I think Declan Rice no I I like I like Declan Rice he's good good. because the thing would be Declan Rice is People don't realise how technically good he is. It's mm. like Roy Keane. People don't realise how technically good mm. Roy Keane was because mm. he's deemed a fighter and yeah, a passionate yeah, yeah, yeah. man and stuff like that. Yeah. And I think Declan Wright get, gets that same. But I mean, Grealish as a player, mm. he just has to play. Like, <laughs> whatever, whatever we're doing, like, he just has to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like that. So when you say to me, where does he play and what system, I haven't thought about that. So if that he has far. to play, why is he not world class? Because, because England's a big nation. N- England being a big nation doesn't necessarily mean. If you have to start for a big nation, you have to be world class. Okay, well, not for right, England. Okay, though. England's not a big nation. If you based on that, yeah. based on that, England's not a big nation. You don't like it, mm. or you just if, don't want if, to give him his props. He's world class. No, if <laughs> you put it, world class bracket is it's not as big as people. What, well, how do you rank it? How do you is world class? World class, the top, top, the top, is, top. Walk See, in most teams because we've had this debate before. You, so you've got couple here, brackets. Here's, here's my <laughs> bracket. So you got you got the aliens. Messi, Ronaldo, and then you got the elite. Okay. Like right. the the Neymars and them man. Yeah. So when, and when then world class. When you're saying world class to me, I'm thinking you mean Alien. the elite. Now nah, the al- aliens it's set like, across the, <laughs> the world everybody knows the aliens and yeah. the two of them. Yeah. But I mean, when you're saying world class to me, I'm thinking you mean the bracket under the aliens. Okay, I don't think so Greenish is in that. Yeah, bracket. I wouldn't say Greenish is elite, but he is World yeah, class, yeah. Be. Okay, in, on your is he tier three? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Are we in a lot that system? <laughs> Are we in a lot that system? <laughs> is, is, he, is he tier three? Yeah, but mm. I don't think he's tier two based on that. But is that only because he hasn't won titles and stuff like? So if he was at a bigger club, would he be? Uh, yeah, I, Brand, I, Brandon I, would be at the roof through the roof. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> sh- I'm not sure if. If that's right, like when he's linked to City and United. Yeah, but after that Arsenal game, everyone looked at it different. Like what he did to Arsenal, everyone looked at him like, yeah, wow. What what I why I say I'm not sure from like just I'm talking not remain the player, just remain as a fan. Mm. If you put him in Man City's team, we're gonna have the same conversation a year time as we just did with Morris. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what it's I mean? the same. So yeah, like, yeah. 
when you're the catalyst and you're the star and everything, is, yeah. not everything's nice. I'm not saying he's definitely earned the respect and everything. Yeah, but you but know you're the man. But you're the man. Yeah. 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 Would you say Marius is world class? Nah. You wouldn't? Nah. So but, he's the but, one. Is but, he world class, I'm asking? Oh, he's Grealish. I would put Marius oh. in, in more top teams than I would Grealish. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. Because if you put Mares in the Liverpool and you know that he can function he in can them systems, function. yeah, yeah. But well, Grealish can't function Gre- in every okay, system. Put Grealish yeah. Grealish in the Liverpool team is gonna play. It's with gonna slow like, down. But yeah. I think that's it's down to the style of how they they play. Rather that's than why we, we have to put that into consideration. Yeah, but I think if you put him in like a Man City stick team, he still he still does what he Grealish does. Grealish won't. He won't do it at the same way, level. Is Kevin to your right and Grealish to your <laughs> left? You're Rodri. No, 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 but Kevin is going to find Grealish, that's what I'm no, saying. No, no, he's no. Gonna be, he's going to be threading them nah, balls to him. Grealish ain't putting himself in goal-scoring positions for Kevin to... You're asking Kevin to play square if he's finding Grealish. No, no, no. They're not going to play on the same line. They're gonna be, one's going to be higher than yeah, the other. Yeah, but Grealish not... Kevin's passes is to end with a finish. Yeah. Grealish's position in a running isn't to be a finish. I agree with that. But I think that's more because he's at Villa, he, where no, no, he has to do every job. Yeah. But it's, it's like a throwing a coin and guessing like how is it going to be? We've, we've had, we can only we've, base it we've shown on how he's playing. Yeah, yeah. Mares was Grealish at Leicester. This is what right? I'm saying. But but, but then Mares goes Kevin to City. Find Mares? Yes, he does. Yeah, but does that's he? O- that's, only, that's only position wise. I'm talking just about and the end being, of the goal being the catalyst. Yeah, Mares in, in, in an advanced position. <laughs> 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 he's not playing a sideways I'm talking about when Kevin is whipping them with some serious angle yeah. and yeah, Sterling's on the, the end yeah but that's to the whoever's up front that, yeah, but, but the, the front point three is that Grealish yeah. don't yeah. get in them positions he's yeah. not in them positions but that's not where you're going to really play him though you're not going to play him as like so a where, left where, forward where, really where's like. Grealish's best position in your for me is 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 an attacking midfield so he needs to be like a 10 almost so Grealish can play in a structured 4 3 3 he's one of the two eights of City I think you're restricting him I would agree I think Madison's more suited to City than Grealish mm. because Madison will play in a structure. Madison will be. Madison would have touched the ball. Grealish would have. <laughs> this is my point. If you're Rodri and you got all these. To be fair, Rodri used to come out the team. Who told you Rodri's going to play, fam? Wait, 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 the balance is going all left. <laughs> 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 there is no anchor. So, so <laughs> good job, man. You know what he's on off like FM. You know yeah, what I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking more like as a ball player, world class players or top players can play with top players regardless. Hence yeah. why City get it right mm. because they've got a squad of top top players, and you could just say that's the eleven today. It's just gonna work. Yeah. To be fair, Man City is probably the wrong team. Someone like an Arsenal is probably better suited to him. But I feel like. I speak up. <laughs> yeah. let's, let's, get the, let's, get, let's get through the let's, results. Let's get through the results. Let's get through the results. It's, it's hard. I, I, I couldn't put Grealish in in an Arsenal team. I think he's gonna he's gonna sh- there's gonna be games where he's gonna struggle. I think for Arsenal because because Arsenal are struggling creatively wise. Like yeah. they're, they're lacking. Yeah. Bro, they have like, Özil. That's, that's not even saying, featuring like, for him. He he should be in the team. It's all political ways. That's now, that's all political. Well, even we Grealish even, was free that role. <laughs> even even that like Grealish is it sounds silly, but he's only as good as his players around him because he needs people to get him the ball. And then once he's got the ball, he just he's gonna do ninety percent you know? of the pardon? Is that Villa, you know? Ninety percent yeah. So you're 90, saying Villa, Arsenal's a downgrade from Villa? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, the difference between Arsenal is Arsenal have got players that mentally won't respect Grealish the way that he needs to be respected. Mm. So when McGinn's asked of when Grealish asks the ball off McGinn, he's gonna give him. If, I think after the Arsenal he's, game, what he did, he if he's doing that, nah, if he's did, <laughs> especially William, Bellerin, William <laughs> Bellerin don't want no problems. <laughs> Abamyang has a mind of it. Not, I'm not saying these players don't, but like for instance at West Brom, mm. when Mateus asks for the ball, you give him the ball because we trust what he's gonna do with yeah. the ball. Whereas when you go the higher level, like your level has to go higher, which natural like Kevin still demands off mm. these world class players, but even. S- like say Man United is a perfect example you've got top players and I, I think Pogba gets a lot of bad criticism because ability wise everybody knows what he can do works in any team you know what I mean <laughs> mm. what, you know what he can do but mm. in terms of the demanding the ball and then giving the ball constantly he hasn't got the respect what his ability needs mm. 
So Grealish true, going into true. our Arsenal team, he's <laughs> around more more top players. They don't just feed like Villa force the ball down his throat. He just eats mm. it up and does what he needs to do mm. with it. Whereas at Arsenal, he won't get that. Then that takes him less around the game. Then it's a case where for the last five, six years, you've been the luxury player we said as an academy. But now you've gone into a first team and it's like you're not getting as much as the ball. How does he react? Mm. But I think that's, that's, that's he, like the same way when you go to a new team. When you first went to Brentford, you weren't getting that same respect at the start. But yeah. you had to earn that respect. And then once you did, they were for it, forcing it down your yeah, throat. Yeah. So I think it would be the same at Arsenal with Grealish. If he went there, it might take him a few games till he actually gets the ball as much as he should. Mm. But once he does... And how, how, how long does Grealish wait before... I don't think he it will won't. take long for it. For no, to... I know. I mean, in terms of there's a there's a bigger chance that Arsenal that is going to win the league than Villa. But what's your priority? What's your priority? Going to win the league in yeah, the last yeah, in the yeah. next five years. Well, we to be honest, I'm not sure if he's motivated to win the league. I, I, will, I will question I'm, that. Like, I'm, if, I'm, if not, he's... I'm not mad at it. I had this conversation the other day when people say to me about, "Oh, you play Premier League and stuff like that." Like, was I ever motivated to play Premier League? Yes, but at the same time, playing Premier League is just a bonus. I'm not meant to be here, like in terms. No, of, no, no. You're meant no, to be no, there. No, no, no. Let me explain why I say. Why I say mm. you're an inner city you. Yeah, yeah, your yeah. Mom, you and your brother, blah, mm. blah, blah. Yeah, 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 Dad yeah. taking me training every week, and mm. no, da, da, da. And I'm not getting new boots every week. I'm not getting yeah, great yeah. one academy <laughs> training on the side. Cheers, <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> yeah, cheers. Yeah. 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 Plug that right there. All of these things. That, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You get what I mean? There was no handouts. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. no for handouts for whatsoever. Mm. Yeah, man. So I seen it. I like <laughs> win, losing, or Kings boring. It's like it's a bonus. yeah, it's okay. In that, like I don't like losing. Mm. Like. I don't want to lose. I'd mm. be vexed if I lose on a Saturday. I'm not good until Wednesday, Thursday. Mm. But when you take away that perspective and think, look where you've come from. It's yeah, like, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, appreciate like, it more. Do you know what I mean? You appreciate it You know, more. getting older, has it changed your perspective on that? Because that probably, was that your mindset when even when you were younger or was that as you've gotten older? As, as, as I got older, I'd be lying if I said that it wasn't. Um, growing up, it's, you think more like, <sighs> I should be there and I want to be there and X, Y, and Z. But as you get older, you've got to realise that my career is X amount of years, but my life is a lot longer. Yeah. And I'm a man, well, I'm a boy before my career, but I'm a man after, but I'm a human being either side of my career. We're almost putting a bubble as an alien, mm. kind of. Yeah. But once you're taking out, like Alan Shearer, for instance, he, he spoke about every now and again, but what he would have been so about during his career and compared to now is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mayweather's yeah. legacy will live long, but nowhere near as long as Ali's because mm. he was a great boxer, but he wasn't so much deemed a great person. Whereas mm. Ali's legacy, <coughs> in a thousand years' time, they'll be talking about Ali. Yeah, just yeah. Just because of his human nature. Mm. This is what I mean when I say I wasn't meant to be here. Yeah, yeah. Like, everything's just a, a bonus mm. kind of thing. So, what? Yeah, I'm going to be mad if we lose on Saturday, but. Okay, then I think about Kingsdown. Mm. How many players did we play with that That's ability Simon wise? That and mm. if it, I could name, I'm not gonna, but we could <laughs> yeah. name players. And you think mm. when I was 12, 13, I was like, Yeah, and they didn't even make it to that level. Yeah, 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 yeah. How you almost at 12, I don't, you, you're different because he, he was a different breed when he was younger. <laughs> but there's some players that you'd look at older and you'd think, he don't make it how am I going to make it uh, do you know mm, what I mean mm, four or mm, five years old you're thinking yeah. I've got to get to that level and yeah. like oh. yeah but you do somehow by whatever faith time correct mm. preparation whatever mm, all together mm. but was there ever a doubt in your mind when you thought this ain't for me I don't know if I'm going to make it you're lying if you said he didn't <laughs> It's got that got that three AM tech <laughs> like, to make a choice. Like, I, I remember when I was younger, I, there was never any yeah, anything don't. else. Like it's yeah. either football I, or nothing. Mm, mm, mm. I don't. That think was I, I, yeah. I think there's there's been more episodes of thinking, oh, it's football for me since I've played first thing football than before. That's mad. All jokes aside, growing up, it's say business aside. I'm just playing with my friends. Kingsdown's just my friends. Mm. Go to West Brom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not your friends, but it, it becomes more. Then it becomes your friends. So 16, 17, mm. 18. Then you're thinking, oh. Yeah. Then after 
going to war so that's when it's like okay it's reality now mm. it's not like I'm not playing for her because growing up I don't know how you felt but growing up when I was like 12 or 13 I didn't know the end goal was match of the day mm. do you get what I mean like yeah. as a 13 year old I don't think oh I'm gonna play in that first team like first mm. that talk comes now because like social media and stuff like that 10 year olds understand more than that but when mm. I was 10 years old Someone said to me, what are you going to do in your life? I'd say, play football. Mm. If they was to say, explain it, I wouldn't be able to say, oh, I'm going to play in the first team. Yeah, yeah like you didn't know the like, process. Yeah, that. you yeah. just knew you were going to play football. football yeah. mm. Whereas now, you know, 10-year-olds are thinking, I'm going to be Ronaldo and I'm going to be on the TV, but mm. I didn't have that. Mm-hmm. So growing up, I'd never ever think, overthink, sorry, about uh, whether I was going to make it or not make it because I didn't know what I was actually trying to make. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, just yeah. knew I was playing football. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. the end goal was matching yeah, yeah, no, or whatnot. I, 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 yeah. But then as you get older and you, when you go through a bad time and stuff, luckily I've never experienced a relegation or wow, this is going to be the first season where I'm in and around the bottom. Mm. I've normally been in mid-table or top teams and stuff like that. Mm. So it's it's been okay for me in terms of mentally yeah. I've never thought oh, you know this, yeah. uh, this is long for me mm. but like at the start of the season this season when I went, when we had the conversation I weren't playing well and I was not mm. questioning myself but questioning myself I had to double back to mm. the many people yeah yeah, 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 say, yeah. like what is what's it? going on we had yeah, the conversation yeah, yeah. and that's when you think you know what this one again to, we're not meant to be here it's bigger than me yeah yeah like yeah. Sawyer's and that's on my back but it's bigger than me I'm not just mm. representing me like yeah. every time I go on the pitch I'm representing create a one lucky yeah 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 someone so you can go and say oh yeah mainly can come down and speak to you if you want him to and blah mm. blah blah like he's bigger than just me yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and that, that that's probably you've got a platform now isn't it? Yeah. And, and I think it's to. a um, social responsibility mm. we, we, I think with all, all of us in the room it's like if we see someone that come come to us or we know people that can come to us and ask for advice and we're always going to give the best advice regardless in whatever situation and that's like the human side regardless of what you're doing or what I'm doing or what anyone's doing in this room, we're always going to try and live up to the human side. Yeah, it? That's, that's so, it. But I think people, some people miss that though <clears throat> and um, become unrelatable. Yeah, but then it's like, the they don't know that they their story or their advice could actually make a massive difference. To yeah, 100%. Mm. But, but I think that's more so, touching on that, I think it's more from the people around you than mm, the actual 100%. individual himself. Like, yeah. if... If as an individual I was always told you're great and you're this and you're that, and I'm put like as a kid growing up in school, you put on a pedestal by the other like yeah, yeah, by like everybody else because yeah, you yeah, kick yeah. ball fam. You yeah. kick ball like yeah. where's from? Oh, you got mm. Man United. I'm yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. You come back from six weeks holidays. What did you do? Oh, I played Man U and all. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. that name we just <laughs> dropped. <laughs> you, go, you go through your school years as the the top kid, and yeah. then it gets encouraged till you're sixteen and seventeen. You're like. All your friends are maybe going out or going out of there. Mm. Oh, no, I got to go home. We got to go London tomorrow. I've got Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're like, well, then even first team, it's like, oh, let me get tickets to come to the game. And so mm. We're always put on a pedestal mm. throughout mm. our life. Yeah. And it's, it's a thing where, like, if you get that pedestal pushed by the people closest around you also, that's when you're going to think, yeah. I'm Cristiano, even though I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there needs to be some sort of core around you that keeps you like to. Um, I'm Maney, mm, like at mm. the end of the day, regardless. Yeah, yeah I'm Remain Sawyer's, but I want you to address me as Maney. I want you to address me as Maney. Address me as Maney. Yeah, yeah. Address me as Sawyer's because that's what say A, B, or C do. They don't know me personally. No, yeah, 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 you guys yeah. know me personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's still. I think that's that's why some people get lost in the source because even like moms and dads, are, yeah, the cl- classic one they say, ah. Oh, Dads want their son to re over their career, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the kids where you'll get them thinking they're Cristiano before they're Cristiano, and they're the ones that at 13, 14, they would have been the star. That fall away. People start catching them up because <coughs> they've their growth spurts not as big or yeah. their technical ability was good at 12 and then they didn't work on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 16, the person that couldn't kick with his left is now two footed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True, true, true. Speaking of ghosts, but this guy out of nowhere, one year I just swept. yeah, I was a ki- I was a kid, like, this, kid, a baby. like little scrawny, yeah. little man. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, st- I'm still waiting for my the next season. I was like, yo, <laughs> turn up at Power cause... League. I saw this guy, <laughs> big man, eye level, you know. I was like, <laughs> okay, oh, that um, man. All right, still just to go through the rest of the nah, results. Nah, this, this episode's taking a different turn. No, no, no. <laughs> What's the result, man? man? We don't, don't rush, bro. That's all. Nah, man. I need to talk about the man you gave me. Get me. Yeah, we won. That's it. Nah, man. Um, okay, can we talk back about the game, I'm, I'm, I'm still early out, so I don't know about you. You All was right. fuming during the game. 
<laughs> he was. Man was like, "This was is that, Ali's yeah. last game." <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, not even like that. I was thinking, if we lose this, it has to be his last game, bro. It's been from his last game from like last year. <laughs> nah, nah, I never said that though. But I'm saying because because of how it's how it's kind of like panned out, he's been saved again by Bruno. But, but, but now but when you, now when you, when you when look at it though, in terms of like results. Mm. He's not done bad, but because we actually watch the games and see like tactically how he's miles off and yeah. all that, it's like. But it's mad, you know, because obviously I'm listening to um, Manny's assessment of things. And I'm thinking, all right, cool, the player knows it, but you'd think a manager of his experience would have that same yeah. understanding. It's actually. Is that the fraud? Is this sort of fraud? Pressure session? can hit differently, and I think like. <sighs> you, many, you think if the fans was there, he'd, he'd be have, gone. You, as, as, like, if fans players, were there, he'd be, like, he'd be sacked. Like, if you fans were there, he'd be sacked. Time become managers and they're completely different people. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it so many times. Like as soon as I cross that line to become yeah. a coach and manager, mm. but that's where they person? lose. But that's where they lose the relationship with people because exactly. obviously if you build a relationship. I've always beforehand. said man management is the biggest part of management. I was just about to say that. That's, yeah. the, that's the biggest thing for me. Mm. You have to. No, it's hard to understand like everybody's culture, especially with so many different nationalities and upbringings mm. and stuff in football. But you have to have a moral base where people just want to work for your people. Yeah, facts. yeah, yeah. Facts. Mm. Like, what, if people don't want to work, that's every line yeah. of work. Football is just more re- results based, so it's yeah. obvious. Yeah. But if people don't want to work for you, mm. you've got it's not going to no work. Yeah. yeah. Like, and that just comes from you as a, again being a human. Yeah. You have to be relatable and be able to approachable and have a conversation not necessarily about football I just need mm. to be able to ask you yeah. how your day is and you ask me yeah. that and we'll be able to have yeah. that conversation if it's just a oh, morning mm. <laughs> 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 I don't want to talk to you no more yeah. and you you're right Gaffer then you go to the browser in the dressing room like oh so and so that yeah, 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 back yeah. to you and he filters through the squads as yeah. well. Yeah. With the Oli thing, who are you replacing him with world football? I've got three people on my list. Go on. Ten Hag. Yeah. Uh Potch. Yeah. And uh the brother at Leipzig. Okay. Out of the three, yeah. none of managed at the magnitude of United. Neither did Oli. Wait, and yeah, that Oli, I'm not <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I'm just being propaganda. Yeah. So then They've all done great jobs where they are. Yeah. Can I say the reason why I picked Ten Hag is my first choice? Go on. Because he, one, he's a winner. Yeah. In whatever, don't matter the league for me. And I feel like Ajax produce top talent. Yeah. Like yeah, if you yeah. look at some of the Ajax teams and even how all the rest of the teams in football have come in and just took all their players. Yeah. I feel like he would be able to take that model and apply it to us. But stating just for this purpose of him. Mm. You hit nail on the head when you said it's Ajax model. Mm-hmm. He's just a piece of that. They've yeah. been doing that before. I was yeah, 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 so yeah. Like, yeah. I agree. He's just the the face of it. Yeah, now. but he would have some idea have of what's some, going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, but then also say we need a director of football, which I'm nominated to be Van der Sar. Yeah, people would say though, Mikel Arteta could have took Pep's what Pep. Yeah, I, I, I agree. That's true. Yeah, so true, it's, true, it's true, hard. True, true. Some people think he did, that he still. He, 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 he was not. He, he some was people not, still backing him to say no, like I, he's I, the new pet. My, but my my take on Arteta is, if he was a manager that didn't come with that rep, he may have been sad. Mm. You think Pep, Pep being he Pep's right hand man has has gave him extra time be, because people because he looks the part as well. What what are the hair done? Valentino what I see on, on social media and, and stuff people always when they're winning it's oh my god baby pet mm, mm, mm. <laughs> people are fickle man yeah, when they're not winning people are fickle oh he's projecting got his players mm. because Pep's renowned and anybody that's been at Barca is renowned for having a project like the Ajax guy yeah. so if he came to Man United you personally mm. would give him extra time than you would Oli yeah. because you would wait for that Ajax project yeah. to start. But it's for me he's proven though that's what people yeah at Ajax yeah. <laughs> but, but Ali ain't proven at all yeah. nowhere yeah, no, no, no. I, 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 he's proven at mold brother but mm. I think that the the thing with the Solskjaer appointment mm. is the first one after was what Moyes. Yeah, yeah. He he. If you think of what Moyes did with Everton, he just named three managers that are similar. Would you agree? Nah, I wouldn't. You wouldn't agree? Nah. Moyes, 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 Moyes,
not in the same caliber as them clubs. Yeah. So like Ajax was they're, they're dominating Dutch football. Plus they have winning mentality. Everton, regardless of whatever level that is. Moyes took Everton from maybe tenth. What did he win? A, no, no, he didn't win. There you go. No, he didn't win in terms of trophy, but in terms of where he if, took if, them yeah, to, I agree. he won. So but, he took them to there. He took what you would say. I, I agree with that, but what I'm saying is, I think that's magnitude. a different type of management. With the mm. with the Ajax guy, you can't judge him off the Dutch league. Mm, mm. Like you can't now, judge what? Mourinho when he was at Porto off the Portuguese league. Mm. You can't judge Man United under Ferguson so much in the United era before the because before it was just Arsenal and Man U at one stage. Mm. In it was just one or the other. Yeah. So you can judge them against each other, but you can't judge them to the rest of the league. Mm. Moyes did what he could. He was the best of the rest. So hypothetically, he won a league of fourteen and left the top six. Mm. The guy at Ajax. Has won a league of three, four. I asked, <laughs> I asked PSV. No, but remember, and, and a good cha- and a good Champions League run. But that's it. you just told me Moyes didn't win nothing, so I don't want to hear. No, 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 no. <laughs> but what, what, what I'm <laughs> so you can run, run nowhere because <laughs> Everton had a good run, so he can't. So we can't, can't yeah, not, <laughs> not in the Champions League. <laughs> But all I'm saying, all I'm saying though, is Everton wasn't a big club, and when you when you go from Everton to a big club, you have to be able to manage big personalities. So that's why I didn't think he's the right guy for that job. No, I don't think he was the right guy. They set him up with that. Mm. Anybody that (laughs) replaced Alex Ferguson, he was was better than to have like maybe gone in house of a new team or something, and then. Mm. Come out and say, "Oh, we're going to develop the next batch of players." And people yeah. have been, "Oh, patient." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't replace him. They and try then to they, match it. They come out with, "Oh, Alex Ferguson recommendation." Everyone sits back and like, "Fergie said so." Fergie said so. It's too. It was too much pressure on him. And go to the who else? You say Poch. Poch. Poch, uh, Poch is not. Poch Moyes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright. Right. <laughs> right. right. I said. I said. Listen. Listen. I'm not. I'm not a Poch nah, fan nah, nah. like that because I'm saying he ain't won nothing. Only yeah. thing he won at Spurs was a night deal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what man? I say yo Poch because he's, he's a big name. No, no, no. I'm just talking. You guys told me Moyes hasn't won nothing. No, no, no. But Moyes is is no. Po- okay, yeah, well, not, what's, uh, your, what's your respect on Poch? Because of what he did a great job of taking Southampton from wherever they were to making them an attractive brand in the football to a certain level. Same with Tottenham. Yeah. And same Moyes did with Everton. No, no, no. They didn't play no attractive football. No. They, they, all they did is they, become they were the best of the an rest. established top half so did, Premiership team. Did Poch do a better job at Tottenham than? Harry Redknapp did at Tottenham. I'm a big fan of Harry, so I'm not. I'm not gonna say that because Harry, <laughs> he ran them. So what we say? What we say? catch me out there, isn't it? Harry's my guy, fam. What we say? Yo, Harry's a big man. <laughs> like I like Harry. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Harry's an OG. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's one of them where I I just feel the reason why I asked you why or mm. who did you replace. I don't think there's many. I think they missed the boat. Yeah. When I, Clark was at Dortmund or uh, Diego Simone yeah, before yeah. his long term deal. Mm. It's like they didn't like have that. any foresight of like yeah. an actual solid replacement. It's just Alex Ferguson's always said, "Ah." Oh, I build teams so in two years and in two years so I, know, I don't think they planned or maybe mm. he didn't yeah, give them yeah. enough planning because Al- Alex Ferguson go and speak to anybody in world football and say in two years I want you to replace me we work together now and then blah. Mm. I'm sure most managers would love that yeah, yeah 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 but, but it's like they just threw Moyes in the deep end with no preparation yes. like you said resources so all these managers are great managers mm. but can they handle no, it's not even eighty thousand in Old Trafford. It's like eighty million worldwide. Yeah. Plus, they're gonna have say two, three hundred million to spend. All these managers haven't had money to spend. Like yeah, Moyes, yeah, that's yeah. why he ended. He bought Fellaini, Fellaini, bro. Fellaini. Yeah. You buy what you know. Now, but you, the you, this, is what, this is what I come down to the man's management side as well, though. Because from when man went to big man like Rio, and say you Jackie need to play Alka. like Jaggy Alka. You lost the dressing room. Yeah. You finished. Yeah, real, real is vocal about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, never forgive him for that. It, never. You, you wouldn't. I don't think he f- would forgive himself for that. And I, mm. I don't know how he interpret. And I'm not gonna sit here and try and say. Yeah. I know it's a different. I can't even. I can't even fathom what he meant by it. But he must have meant something. Like, he must have meant something. He must have meant something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, no method. He wanted to head it more or something exactly. like that. Nah, nah, nah. That's probably why he meant He said he wanted to head it more. <laughs> Don't give no, me a joke. Big, big real, you know. All right. Well, you, you 
must have experienced. You must have experienced somebody said something to you that you've respected in football, uh, and they said something you like. You know what? Let me. <laughs> I can't. I yeah, can't well, co-sign that. If, if, if yeah, I yeah. speak, I'll yeah, it's like I want respect. I'm just believe it. The amount of times you would have just said like, man, just said something. You just like okay. Yeah. Like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, but that's, that's not like, one of them comments. Yeah, remember, that comment would have been in house. Yeah. Like, mm. even if the camera's rolling, if I say something to you guys, you keep it in house, but it could be crazy no, no, no. if you say it. Let me show you the, the magnitude of the difference because, like, Rio was like, <laughs> yeah, we know. world class, like, one of the greatest to ever <laughs> we know. That, we know this upsets you. Jaggy out okay, So that's yeah, like, yeah, that's like, you're going to go to you now and go to someone in League One that's. Like done out like thirty years old and yeah. saying, "Yo, you need to play more like him," <laughs> and you're gonna go like, "Okay, Gaffer." No, yeah. you're not. Yeah, to end the wait, conversation because you wait. don't wanna, you don't wanna, you don't no, wanna actually yeah. have it. I'm no, you're you gonna say, Gaffer. I think you've been a bit disrespectful. No, you I'm wouldn't, fam, because you'd let him just you say mean, it. Because if you call him out on it, it's you just, just gonna, gonna be that, a lot. No, no, no. But you're gonna question. The first thing you're gonna do is gonna you're gonna question it and say why. You look at Mama like. That's exactly. what I mean. It's, it's, it's better for me if not Rio, because Rio, like you said, Rio is world class. That's disrespect to a big man. <laughs> this what I'm saying. But like, say for instance, me if I went into my gaffer's office tomorrow and he compared me to someone in League One or League Two, I just say okay. But then like, when I leave the dress, leave the room, I'll be thinking you gonna mess with me like, yo, guess what the gaffer said to me? This what I'm saying. I'm like, 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 saying, yo, many like, 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 we're working for power leagues. Yeah. Well, this is what I'm saying. So this is what I'm saying. Moyes is is is, is not level because Poch is always one that had good man- management skills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, which is yeah. needed at a top level. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And he was tactical. And he way. he had everybody yeah. in every squad. He's the had only thing I didn't agree with. He didn't him. start Lucas Moura in the Champions League final. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think he had control of that. To be honest with you, I think that was. You think that come above? <laughs> that's above my pay grade. Saying Daniel Levy <laughs> sent him the email. It's above me now. <laughs> <laughs> Levy said, pulled, he, he I, think, "I think that's one. If he really wanted to, he could have because." He's just buying the hat no, trick to get thinking, in there. No one would have argued. He's got, he's no, just, no one would have argued. That's what I'm saying. He's got 100% that to say justified. That. But if he'd have lost it and didn't start him, then it's an explanation yeah. that he has to then find and say, yo, why did you not start my man? Watch he's the last your game. Best, he's your, it doesn't matter because he's your best player. You play your best player. That's what they would say, especially in the Champions League final. Mm. Don't get a second crack. But the thing is, he could have played both. Yes, I was going to say. He could have risked someone else. I agree, but. Yeah, you got that wrong. I would have started. He got it wrong. He got it wrong. He started on the right, Lamella. You can't leave Harry nah. out. I don't know, but you got it wrong. Uh, can't remember, but either way, you got it wrong. Started. Yeah, true. All right, cool. Um, let's go to our poll. Uh, we had a few last week. Uh, oh. One was: Will Villa finish in the top half of the league? PSC was Adamant stronghold that, that nope. Manny, I said, what's, what's your view on that? I'm saying Villa's finishing top ten. You don't have to say that. Just nod. <laughs> no, no, no. Do you think top half or not? Me personally, no, I don't think so. All right. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, you two are on your own. Yeah, you got bare, you got bare, you got fans on your team, though. No, I don't, no, I don't. Yeah, you do, my bare. Don't put that out there. Don't put that out there. Um, I'm just good with the B6 ends. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I got a pass. Sixty-three uh, percent of the people that voted said yes. Okay, they will. So I, I want to see will. what the sixty-three percent say. End of the season. That is. Um, I see well, we'll yeah, Save that poll, man. Save that poll for me. Um, the next one was: If Man City finishes fourth, should Pep get the sack? Mainly, what's your view? Yeah, yeah, I know he signed a deal. Deals in football don't mean that, fam. They'll just take him up. Taking everything into consideration. Take taking everything into consideration, no. Okay. Taking the season into consideration, yes. Okay. And the money is so basically sitting on the No, 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 because. Again with the question, who are you gonna replace him with? And Pep's bigger than just a manager. He could attract yeah. a Messi. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He could attract some players that Messi. Do you think Messi will leave? I, I'd like. I want to say no. I'm a Barca man. I don't want him to leave. I don't think he should leave. An X, y, and Z. Stick a pin but, in that topic as well, because I want to get back to that. <laughs> all right, wait until we. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what did you vote? What's that? Should he get sacked? Yeah. Uh, no. Nah. 
And PSC? Yeah. I think I voted no, but okay. I put I put the poll. I started the poll in it. First started the poll in it. Nah, nah, nah. Fifty one percent. Ooh, it was close. Said no. So and this had a lot of votes. Yeah, it's a good question to be fair though. But then again. You do play some, that's a, Again yeah. No one thinks about the foresight anyway. But I think that's A lot of people that voted Are not Man City fans And they're not thinking about that They're just thinking Yo big man spent so much peace A lot of them might Just want him out of the league For their team to be successful yeah, uh, Even that as well Joker, There yeah. you go <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay Next one Now this is We'll start it next week Not this week But uh, Fraud Watch Chris Wilder uh, <laughs> Oof <laughs> Ooh, whoa, 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 right, whoa, whoa. We'll I'll, put that I'll, as a poll I'll, this I'll, week. I'll save it. I'll save yeah. it. Don't worry. Uh, we um, do fraud watch today on there. Nah, nah. Next week. Uh, we'll do it. <laughs> don't worry, man. You can't put Dan James on there every week. <laughs> 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 I can, and I will Yo, every week. You know, every every week. It's the Dan James section. <laughs> Fam, he's got a perm, he's got a re- he's got a rent on fraud watch. <laughs> I'm gonna find um, him and I want to get it tied on his head. <laughs> can't go nowhere without fraud on his head. So this one was: Is Pepe now officially a flop? Yeah, that was mine, innit? it? I, I voted yes, fam. I, I, I yes. said you got to give him to the end of the season. I said he's a big For what? Because, like, to be fair, this, I, is, this is his first proper season, I'll say. So, mm. I have to judge him on this season. This season's not finished yet. Now, it, it, is, it is harsh when I think about it because you've had how many managers since the one that signed you? What's, what's that got to do with anything? Nah, but it's yeah. like, they probably wouldn't have signed him. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, football is a game so of opinion. they wouldn't have signed him, then... So that's why he's probably not starting. So I'm just thinking it. So he's not like a flop because they wouldn't start him. Well, if he's starting and he's performing, then he just get a run of games. So when he's he playing his... and he hasn't performed, then can we base it off that? Okay. But you got to give him games. The season's got to finish first. My question on this is, is he a flop because you don't know he's worth 72 million? That plays because a big part in it. I feel like a lot of... So you're saying if he was a free transfer, everyone no, would agree? No, 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 Pogba's no, no, a prime no, no, example. No, no. I feel like football prices should all be undisclosed. Mm. Really, Fred has been top this year. No, mm, yeah. I agree. He's, 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 oh, he's, 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 he's living in that past of being so bad that he, he can't, can't catch back on. See, yeah. <laughs> you see, you see, no, you see but listen sad. though, listen though, because one, one, one of the weeks we had we had a topic of who was the most improved player, and yeah. I put Fred, you and see? these man laughed at me. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, but, listen. this is exactly what I said. He, he, can't, he, can't, he can't catch, catch back. Can't back on. No, he's, listen, listen. Say, <laughs> Say Pepe now. I hate, I see Pepe's abuse all the time. Yeah. Say Pepe was to be rubbed for the rest of this season, but then next season he put up Salah numbers. People would say, nah, it's a one-hit wonder. Look at the past two. Then he did it two years in a row. People mm. would still say, and it's all stemmed from 72 million. Mm-hmm. So if all yeah. transfers, like Fred was 70, 50, something like 50, that. 50. If, if all transfers, especially top end like that, was all undisclosed fee, your expectancy level wouldn't be through the roof. Yeah, yeah. But when you spend still be 60 million on Fred, knowing Zidane was 50. Yeah, it's but like, that's, that's different. No, no, no. Yeah, e- e- era-wise, numbers are still 50 back the then same. is like 300 mil now. But You're saying that because of the ability of Zidane? Nah, nah, nah. But 50 that was a world million, record fee. Are we talking about like, Zidane, what's that, what's Zidane that from fee? Uve to yeah, Real Madrid? Yeah, that was a world at the time. So when you hear 60 million... You think big numbers, but you just hit the nail on the head. Sixty million back then was five million. Mm. So if somebody brought Fred for five million back then, you wouldn't be blasting him mm. because you hear sixty. Mm. It's just big, but sixty is mm. a minor into comparison to what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I hear that, but I'm saying then if but they've been bought for that amount, so then there should be a certain level that comes with it, now. When you get brought for sixty million. Is it the player or is it the two clubs? I, no, it's I a two. Move, Listen, I was to move for sixty million. Cheese. It's not. It's not on me. <laughs> <We're flying laughs> <to Miami. laughs> it's, 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 it's not. Listen, I just wanted to come. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what I mean? When he moved from Shakhtar to United, yeah, sixty million or six million. He just wanted to come, and he was just gonna be Fred. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. You know I mean? He was just always gonna be Fred. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That's all he knows. I don't know if you're making a better case for Pepe yeah, or not, yeah, yeah, yeah. is he, is he not worth seventy? So, okay, is nah, he worth seventy two? Listen, he was advertised put, as a Bugatti, I don't put a Rari. Figures, I don't put figures on players because so it's too in hard. Your, in your in your because view, some, is he a flop or not? Say he's a free transfer. Are you happy with the output that he's, he's given Arsenal? The, the fees undisclosed. Is he a flop? Yes or no? I still say yeah. I think he fits in Arsenal. 
So he said, does that say much about uh, the player or <laughs> no, Arsenal? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. If if you go and sign him for City, you say he's a flop because they're meant to be challenging for the titles and Champions League next time there. But what are Arsenal? What so not I, Arsenal? The football club, the Arsenal right now, the mm. team right now. What do you expect of Arsenal players? Certain do expecting, expecting Champions League. I'm not saying years. that he's doing what's expected, but it can't be far off. Like we, when we're saying about Lingard, mm. Lingard at say West Brom. Mm. Wouldn't get the same abuse that he does at Man United, mm. yeah. Just because his expected level is different. So when you talk about Pepe, Pepe is a player in that Arsenal team transfer fee aside. Is his level of ability doing the same as who's their other wingers? Williams, Nelson, Williams, Sh- Martinelli, uh, Saka, Sackers. Like, mm. is he the bottom of that pack? I've, Apart from Rios Nelson, none of them really doing anything to be honest. There's, there's, is he a flop then? All of them are flops, isn't it? All of them are flops. All of them are flops. They're all flops, so they're all part of the same bracket. I agree. Are they all flops? I agree. The price tag has made it worse. Based on their output. Yeah. Forget all the price tags. Their output isn't good enough for the level expenses. Yeah. 14th. Yes. 14, yeah. something like that. Is like Arsenal's is, not meant wait, to be wait, no, 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 no. Is Pepe a 14th place team winger? No. He should be higher or should be lower? <laughs> he, should, he should definitely be higher. So he's not a flop? He's performing if he should be at higher, level what he's at If he should be higher, then he's, he's, not, even, he's, he's not even playing though? He's prefer, like, so is Ozil a flop? Just out of curiosity. Is right now. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> When you look at Ozil oh, It's career as a whole Can you put Ozil and Flop in the same no, sentence? No, I, I, you, I you wouldn't dare okay. But he's, he's done it favorites. For me, I feel like Ozil's Arsenal's over the hill saying, Where he's done, Pepe he's put is numbers on the board. coming on the hill yeah, okay. He's not put no numbers on the, Like as yeah. much as you want to say That's about true. these. But it's the same what you're saying about the managers of being uh, The, what's in it, the, the IX manager is only He can only judge him of that league, you can't really judge him after that league. Pepe's only done it in the French league. You can't really judge him after that. You got to judge him after Farm, the Prem. Farmers League. And in the Prem, he's playing for a 14th place team. No, you got. He, he's if, playing for a team <laughs> who's <laughs> underperforming. Yeah, the team is so underperforming what's he gonna do? because the players are underperforming. But if he is of that caliber, price tag aside, he should be doing something that is different. So Aubameyang. So basically, the, the whole energy? squad. What's the energy for Aubameyang? Oh, he is. He's shaman. You want to do fraud? You want to do fraud? Right 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 you want to do fraud? Time for that one. <laughs> um, anyway, back to the poll. <laughs> <laughs> 68 percent of the voters voted that yeah. Pepe is a big flop. 68%. I mean, I, see, that your, I see your price tag argument, Mania. I understand it. Nah, but I agree with that story. I I, with that. I, I, yeah. well, you agree with what? The, the price tag? The, the, the price does make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It influences. Terrible. 100%. It does influence, um, but. The, the, anyway. other, the, other, uh, the, the other poll, the last one, was on Is Benjamin Mendy a flop? Let's, let's hear this energy. I can't remember what Last week we said he was a bad, vibes it's, man. It's signal, he, he's played eight games in the World Cup in time. Trophy. He's won. <laughs> This, that, the third. He hasn't played a full season of football at City. See, this is one where you City have to kind of get into the, and there. actually define flop. Because if you not live about, up to the level that he was expected he, to live his, up to. His, his CV is... Yeah, yeah, it, yeah it looks okay, very impressive. Yeah, yeah, but, but what is actually can, done... You can sit on the bench and win and win a, a, a participation medal. So it doesn't mean that you live up to the level. You have to class him as a flop because he ain't done that. Yeah, that's that's what we're basing it on. He's a flop. He's a flop. He's a flop. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I wasn't yeah, the one backing yeah. him saying that he's not a no, flop. We're not, we're not saying he's, he's a terrible player because we know this his quality. Saying. He's a good player, but he's, 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 he's but he's, he's, Why are you looking at me he, like, yo, why are you backing him? No, no you're Manic, saying that. It sounded like you were trying to try Manic Manic like, like, <laughs> Nah, but I'm just saying like his CV's Man acting like Zinchenko had on a Mendy mask when he was playing. Like, bro, give Zinchenko some credit. And the voice said as well. He's gone missing as well. These men don't really understand how important the vibes man is. <laughs> I'm trying to explain this. Every squad needs a vibes man. It's important. We're gonna get to some vibes man. Hey, I'll be on the list. We can have yeah. this conversation. I would happily be a for that kind of bag. Yeah. I'll be a bro. Yeah. Tell me the yeah. playlist. Tell me what yeah. you like. Uh, the me. lights. I hear. I hear. I hear you, what you know what I'm saying. I hear what you're saying, but. 
I think at that end, you can't just be a vibes. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Like I agree. Champions League, World Cup. Yeah. But at the same this, time, you can't have a squad that. just of good players. You have to have that character in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah I but know, I mean, but I'm saying the level he's supposed to cover. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I think he, he rather the good time rather than the... I fit Mendy is that. Yeah. He's a good player. If he's fit, he starts. Yeah, but yeah. the reason why he's not fit is because he's vibes in. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> we, can't, we can't say that. We can't, we can't say that. I, I'm speculating. Yeah, yeah. Put yeah. That speculation. <laughs> 59% of the voters voted that Benjamin Mendy is a big flop. Big flop. Big flop. So I already argued it, but we, we can't. But then, really you, can't. then you watch the episode in bags, so. <laughs> like, shut up, innit? Uh, <laughs> um, all right, cool. Um, I wanted to talk about the top five most iconic moments in football. Now we could be here for another yeah, three hours, yeah. so let's just go. With Big what man, first comes to your head. Why did you not ask this at the start of the pod? Nah, man, yeah. we need to. <laughs> nah, man, we keep we keep it. Well, the first Vibes one that comes to my my head is always that Zidane volley. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. that's a wrap. Like. Yes, I agree. I like, agree. For yes. me, that that. That changed my whole view on football. Yeah. yeah. But what are we basing this iconic moment? Whatever's iconic to, to you. Yeah, to that's you. what I mean. Because naturally people say England in the 66 World Cup, but for me... Nah, 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 that's not that's not that's not my generation. That's not our generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The show's a bit younger than that. Like, <laughs> the audience has not reach that kind of 66 like, level. That's the first thing that comes mm. to my head. Yeah. He, like, he was wow. <laughs> so this day I still not seeing anything like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the Bale one in... The bicycle kicking Ronaldo's mm. one, but I just at that time. Do you know how hard that technique? Like, do you know how hard that technique is, bro? It dropped from the heavens. This, and it was behind like, him. Man had to, yeah, yeah. Nah, that, that's we hard. Yeah, Champions yeah. League final. Yeah, yeah. nah, it's crazy. Um, well, I was going. <laughs> I was I going to say um, Aguero winning the league. For no, City, fan, I know, I know, yeah. it burned me still, but that no, is a very was, iconic moment. It was, it was yeah. special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've watched that. Back. You can't. You can't. Oh like, yeah. You can't. Like, exactly, but like, but you're not feeling. Yeah, then yeah, that's what I'm saying. But your feeling would have been different from mine. I'm conceding the goal. I'm hurting. That's what I'm saying. That is iconic. iconic. A very iconic moment. It's football. iconic for the Prem, yes, but for me personally, yeah. it has the opposite effect. Right, I'll, I'll yeah. go. I'll go on the menu side. John Terry slipping, hitting the post, and, and hitting, hitting the, post. the post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Champions yeah. League final. Yeah, yeah, man. Bon JT. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put him in his all-time eleven? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so I said, I, I respect, as well. so I respect did I. the craft. So did but I. as a person, I don't rate him. Yeah, so did I. I just said, um, yes, there's um, World Cup winning. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Card. Yeah. That was Ronaldinho like, against Chelsea. The, the total yeah. thing. The, 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 yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He can still do and that the, now. The, our classical goal, goals. Yeah. That game. Yeah. When you, you had the whole crowd. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. What, what, Everyone. What about yeah. Miss ran through the holes? Is it a weird team that you ran? Getafe. 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 Uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, oh, not man. Yeah. But, just a bad question, fam. Ronaldo, <laughs> There's too many. There's too many. Ronaldo against United. A hat trick. He got a yeah. 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 In the black. Yeah. Watch yeah. that. I watched that the other day, bro. Bro, I watched that on YouTube the other day, fam. Even bro. as a United fan, I still have yeah, to like, yeah, yeah. yo, he made Rio look bad. Mm. Him and Raul, in, even in the first, yeah. the first leg. This is some nostalgia moment right here, fam. I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> there's too many. There's yeah, too there is, many. but pick it up five. <laughs> Impossible. All I know is the dance in there. The, the Zidane Leverkusen definitely. gets in there. I think the Ronaldo United gets in mine. Aguero gets in mine. Ninety nine United. I didn't. I didn't see it firsthand. Yeah, Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's I, like I, I'm I, kind I, of moments that yeah, I yeah, saw yeah, okay, that. Yeah, like, yeah, okay. I'm like, yeah. yeah. For me, well, I watched that. I watched that game. Here so we go, when he flicks it and uh, and scores against Bartes. I didn't watch that. Yeah, but and, I didn't, and I didn't appreciate. Bartes. I didn't appreciate it as the iconic iconic. I'd, I'd now, the reason it, why I ha- I, about I, scores I, against Barcelona is because like just just how did he even think to do that? Didn't you take the charter one over the back hill? Nah, nah. Because in that moment. That's all, not, I mean, that's, all have, that's all he could have done in it. And mm. what yeah, what else could I have done? He's on my back. Dro- uh, it? Drogba's header nah, against Munich. Not, not just that. that too. But the, the thing uh, is, uh, Wayne the, Rooney. Look at the position. He received City. the ball for the for volley the against Arsenal Newcastle. One, uh, um, yeah. The United one. Sorry, there's a lot of United like, ones up in here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, think about it. how how would you even think? Like, because I'm not even. I'm facing this way. The goal's behind me. I've got a defender behind me. Why would I even think? That's that. Je ne sais quoi. That's the Vava Boom. That's that Vava Boom. That's that Vava Boom. <laughs> Why would I think? That's Let me the flick Renault it off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why, that's why it comes to my mind. Because I, 
it still baffles me. Like, nah, yeah, but like I said, it's Bergkamp. What I see, like, like Bergkamp when he touched it round Dabby's ass and left yeah, him there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bergkamp against Newcastle. Mm-hmm. The record, Raheem Sterling says the Ricardo Fuller goal. Yeah, but wow. it's not. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's special. It was it's special. the same, but he didn't wow. get the credit for it. But it wasn't the original though. He saw, he saw someone do it. Don't so that's, know, why it's oh, I don't that's, know. that's why it's different. Oh, I don't know. That's why it's different. I feel like Fuller meant it and Burkham didn't. Whoa. Wait. Whoa. Wait, 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 that sounds wait, like wait, a poll. Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> Fuller. Yeah, make that poll, man. <laughs> After the game, I remember that game and uh, remember Cissé against Chelsea. Mm. And both yeah. of them are explained. Cissé says he was just tired, he just hit it. Mm. So he didn't mean he he meant it, but he didn't think it was gonna happen. Yeah, he just yeah. tried the team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Burkamp's one said he meant to go the other way, and he improvised. Yeah, it Fuller, does look like that though. Fuller's one. That, that's even know, that makes it even better. No, no, no. no, no. When you when you mean that means he changed his mind sure. mid touch. Yeah. Nah, nah, that's instinct though. You yeah. I've done a lot of good things Ricardo off instinct. Fuller's one. Nah, nah, that's do something deliberate, and bro. He knew deliberately and just embarrassed. Mm. If it was, well, if it was another player that did it, let me say this though, because. Fuller, he saw Burkham do it. So if he didn't see Burkham do it, he's not trying that. Mm. So therefore, he, Burkham has to be better because yeah. not only did he do it first, he improvised and changed his mind mid mid touch to go boom round him and then go around him and finish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All More right. genius then. So genius. every guest we have, except last week, <laughs> we try and get the best. Your all-time Premier League eleven manager and formation. Can you do that in five minutes? <laughs> yeah, well, less than manager-wise. Yeah, there's only one, surely. No, from a success point of view, obviously Alex Ferguson. From a personal point of view, Arsene Wenger. Okay. Okay. Only because I feel Fergie's success is second to none, but what Wenger did for football. Second, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So there's two different perspectives. It was the pep before pep came. <clears throat> exactly. Yeah. And then you hear all the stories of all ex players and diets and stuff like that. Mm. It's weird though, because don't you think diet. like, I feel like Wenger played very attractive football, and no one took that. No one, no one tried. Where to now it. Pep plays similar, and everyone's kind to try and run with it because he won more, maybe. So it's it's a bit, but I think he's took it to a next level though. Yeah, yeah. of course, definitely. Yeah. Like I think that like yeah, but it's been the next level like, from Wenger, Wenger play, the, he played nice football, but it was never the same level where you thought I want to play like that. I think I think like the English where it's Pep, you like like his Barca team is yeah. the best team yeah. ever yeah. assembled. Yeah, yeah. I think and I think the standard of of players that are able to play that way mm. is bigger now because yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of kids like growing up English kids wanted to be Beckham. You want yeah, hair, yeah. the corners, the diags, mm, the <laughs> whereas, black diags. Yeah, mm. whereas now. Got Grealish's and Madison's in yeah, this yeah. world that grow Jogger Benito. Yeah, so yeah, they're yeah. looking at Iniesta's and Javi's and Zidane's and stuff. So the the player you're producing before the the England prodigy isn't the same as it is now. Yeah, because in terms 100%. of what you model to be a player. Mm-hmm, yeah. So I think it's probably easier to emulate the, um, the success of Pet more than it is to Wenger. Okay. So okay, Wenger's right. your manager. Left formation. Back. I'd have to do that as a go. <laughs> <laughs> Got a left back. Left Ashley back Cole. has to be one. Yep. Yeah. Ashley Cole. I don't. Hey, no one else picked that. Don't worry. No one else picked that. No one else picked that. No one picked that. No one else. I go Rio. Mm hmm. Not Jagiaka now. You're trying to set you up, bro. <laughs> then his partner. You got to, like you say, Terry for his. His career in success and no, I ain't said a word. It's, 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 yeah, like he said, you have to give it a minute. He did it at the top of his game for how many years, won everything. Mm. Um, right, but this is a one where I've never, I don't think there's, there's no real standout. Yeah, in my head, somebody's had a run or somebody did this or something, but nobody's actually made me say yes. Like Ashley, like Ashley, Ashley Cole, Cole yeah. yeah. Ashley Cole, it's not a question. Yeah, but then you. Yeah, yeah, you would have some people say this person, some people say that person. It's one of them where, but I can't play it back free with Ashley Cole. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Uh, unless you Ali. <laughs> <laughs> you heard right. <laughs> we can come back to that if you yeah, want. Yeah, we come back. Centre midfield, Gerard. Are you doing a free? 
Or a T. I'm, I'm just waiting for, <laughs> just waiting. I'm just waiting Because I know he has to be in there <laughs> If you don't put him in there I'm, I'm going to lose respect for you For a while as well Center midfield So personal Like This is a hard one for me There's some shouts Fabregas Vieira Yeah yeah I'm not mentioning Skulls I'm not mentioning Oh, <laughs> come on, turn off the camera, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Gerard. Kante. Makalele. Balak. Nah, I said Balak. I, I'm not even listening, though. No. Go, Gerard. Fabregas. Um, left wing, CR7. On the left? Yeah. Okay. Yes, then. Um, he could be on the right. No, you can't. You can't keep putting him on the right, man. Either or. Nah, man, he's special on the left. Striker, I'd go Rooney one. Um, As an out and out striker, like dropping in the hole or what? Do what he wants. Do what he wants. To be fair, just put him on my pitch. <laughs> um, put my right back in it. Save a slot. Two. Drogba, Henri, Aguero. Yeah, go to Thierry. Okay. Drogba now? Nah, not over Thierry. I think Thierry, for me, Thierry is the best player to ever play in the game. So I can't... Can't not put him in. Past him. Um, so I mean, formations can be wild. Even his his celebration's iconic. The slide. He's just... Every, like, Wait a second. Hey, fam. Long sleeve, no black gloves. But the vapor. <laughs> I told you, if I when the man can do Renault Cleo advert, <laughs> and man still look at him like he's... Yeah. He's got the sword. You know what I'm saying? That is Vavavoon. So yeah. you're still you're missing a right winger and a right back. Yeah. yeah. You got Robin, Perez, Damien Duff, Will Todd, Joe Cole. <laughs> I must have <said> Will Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Will Todd. Wow. And Nanny. Where did that come from? <laughs> I didn't want to address it yet. <laughs> Will Todd. So Will Todd, um, you know. K- K- does KDB even get in to anyone's on the, on the right wing? Nah, but nah, just in general. It's, it's, I think in five years he might. Yeah, it's too in soon. In five years he might. Okay. But they'd have to win three out of the five, I think. And they'd have to have that same consistency. Because we're talking, Fabregas, he came in the league, what, 16? Mm, what's up? And man, this man. If he played there next week, he would be top, top. Like, mm, mm, mm. This Fairs. Oh, right wing. I'm trying to think. Give me some more names. Bex. Um, um, yeah, you got nah, Bex. Not nah, enough for me. Like, I think it world class. Who, we now, had, uh, like, who else is right wing? Bale, Hazard, Hazard, yeah. Hazard Bale, nah. Bale had a good run for his, what, two years, three years? Hazard? Uh, you're still playing. Mm. But they are picky, aren't you? Ain't nobody left. Uh, <laughs> so Giggs, you can put Giggs there just for the fact that. Uh, <coughs> so would you switch them wings then? Or do you keep on nah, the right? No, no, no. I'd rather have Inverted. Ronaldo in his strongest. Coming in after Okay, so you agree that Ronaldo's strongest on the left, yeah? Yeah, 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 oh, okay. yeah definitely. Okay. Definitely. Giggs is strongest on the left, but he's not as strong as Ronaldo is on the left. So, right so set, you're settling for Giggs then? Yeah, I settled mm. Giggs on the right. Right back. It's Gary Novak. Got Trent. It's Gary. Too uh, soon. Gary. Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker. Um, poor yeah. guy. Who else is there? Not, there's not a. Um, a B-way. B-way. A who? Oh, wow. <laughs> Zabaleta, <laughs> if we're just shouting out names. That's the only person that's come to my head, but I don't think... Who, he, like? Yeah, he didn't do it long enough like that. He was underrated, though. Yeah, for <clears> sure. Um, um, Aspi? Aspi Lecreta, yeah, yeah is a good shot. one that could be. Avanovic? Ooh. Yo, boy. Yeah, he's... <laughs> Rick Ward. <laughs> <laughs> See if he gets that arm up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aspie. Aspie. All right, yeah. cool. So your formation is four four two. Yeah. Keeper. Did you use the keeper? Oh, did oh, I not? No. Nah. Shemichael. Okay. Shemichael is the Casper. keeper. Casper uh, goal. Ashley Cole. <laughs> Rio Terry. Yeah. Aspie. Aspie. Uh, Gerard and Fabregas. Fabregas. Ronaldo left gigs right. right. Rooney Henry and, and Rooney. Yeah. Henry. Fair play. Not bad team. Nah, I'm disappointed. Not sure. <laughs> but, <laughs> skulls. 
Of course. So wait, it's we'll talk about it after Echo Ring that time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, uh, Manny, thank you for coming on. It's been, been a pleasure. pleasure. It was very insightful, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah, there, was gems. there was gems there, there was gems. Um, that was No Techers episode 18. Shout out the sponsors, Create One Academy, uh, Beer Energy. Uh, who else we got a sponsor on us? Don't forget to get the hats. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah the now. merch is out right now. Hats, um, tracksuits coming soon. Don't know why keep lying to people. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming. They're coming. Yeah. I'm, They're point, coming. I'm pointing out in the They'll air. They'll soon man. come. They'll soon come. The C-man in black. Where did I get that from? Like, don't, don't worry, don't worry about exclusives. It's, it's coming soon. Uh, yeah. Tune in next week, episode 19. Peace.